Welcome to Seoul Plaki University's virtual open day. We are excited that you are interested in joining the hashtag MySPU family. Please grab a warm drink and sit back while we show you why you must choose hashtag MySPU. Seoul Plaki University is situated in the beautiful city of Kimberley in the Northern Cape province, occupying a combination of existing and purpose-built structures. The architecture of our new buildings has a unique personality and embraces a modern approach to light and space and is inclusive of artwork and design reflecting the heritage of the area. Our university is an innovative 21st century institution where we are creative and inventive in teaching and learning, research and community engagement. All these are driven by state-of-the-art digital technology so that our graduates are fully equipped to succeed in this century. Registering with our university, you're sure to become a graduate that appreciates different worldviews and diversity of opinions. At our university, you will become an active, engaged citizen in the progressive transformation within your professional working domain and will acquire unique approaches to problem solving with a unique worldview. Today, we will provide you with an opportunity to find out which programs are on offer, to meet our staff and see our beautiful campus. You will also hear about the hashtag MySPU Student Life and what you need to do next to apply for admission in 2022. Choose to be a part of a learning community in action. Choose hashtag MySPU. Welcome to this virtual open day at the Seoul Plaiki University. We hope that you will choose Seoul Plaiki University for the next step in your educational journey. Due to COVID regulations, uh, we are unable to do this in the normal mode. So this is the second year that the university has to showcase itself in this uh, modality. We hope that you will choose Salt Lake University as your preferred institution of study for 2022. Salt Lake University uh, is a university that started in the post-apartheid uh, South Africa as one of two new universities that were established. It started in 2014 with 125 students and this year it is celebrating its eighth birthday. We have for 2021 registered 2,789 students and we hope that by 2030 we will have registered 8,000 students. Approximately 60% of the students that we've registered are females. So to a certain extent, we are bucking the trend uh, in national education where the majority of our students are female. Although we are registering students from all the nine provinces in South Africa, the majority of our intake come from Kimberley, the Northern Cape in general, and the Northwest. So as the only university in the Northern Cape province, uh, Sol Plaiki University is expected to generate new knowledge that, and skills that are needed for the Northern Cape and to contribute and transform the economy of the Northern Cape. As a university, we are embedded in our society and for that reason, the community outreach programs that we run at Sol Plaiki University tries to incorporate the community so that right from the start, Salt Lake University is embedded in the community. So as matriculants, I would like to wish you well in the upcoming matric examination. Uh, I know that you have come thus far. Many of you have gone through very, very difficult circumstances. It was a journey for you, a journey that up till now you have uh, walked and I will just encourage you to stay the course, to be disciplined, to be focused so that when you finish the matric, you are in fact graduating with a baccalaureate pass in matric. You will hopefully choose Salt Lake University 
as your preferred university for 2022 and you will become part of the Solplaiki University family, not only during Sol your time at Solplaiki University, but well beyond the time that you have left Solplaiki University, uh, which means that you will then become alumni at Solplaiki University. I see from my uh, position that the journey that you are about to embark on after matric is a journey that is exciting. It is a journey that is full of challenges. It's a journey that is unknown. But I can assure you that whilst you are at Solplaik University, we will try our utmost to prepare you for a future that is both known and unknown. Good afternoon and welcome to Solplaik University, a small university in the Northern Cape with a very big and ambitious academic project. My name is Professor Jean Baxson. I'm the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic and I have with me uh, my colleagues who are the heads of schools in Salt Lake University. Uh, this university started seven years ago uh, as an ambitious project with uh, very exciting academic projects and programs. Uh, we have the School of Economic and Management Sciences, the School of Natural and Applied Sciences, the School of Education, and the School of Humanities. Uh, I'm going to give the opportunity for each of our heads of schools to introduce themselves. Our SRC president was due to be with us today, but unfortunately, like a good student, he is busy with his exams. I'm going to start at the far end. Prof Galebe, will you introduce yourself? My name is Aperi Galebe. I'm the head of the School of uh, Natural and Applied Sciences. I am Pierre Hubert, the head of School for Economic and Management Sciences. My name is Amas Sando Firepi. I'm the head of School of Education. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Karen Hare, and I'm the acting head of School of Humanities. As I said, uh, prospective students and mums and dads, uh, SPU should be the university of choice. We have exciting programs. We take into account the social, cultural, and physical and biophysical landscape of the Northern Cape to produce programs that speak to where we are contextually but also at the same time ensure that we are nationally and internationally relevant. I'm going to ask each of the heads of schools to tell you a little bit about their school and the exciting programs that uh, are featured in the school. So Prof Galebe, will you perhaps start with telling us some of the projects that are in your school and some of the flagship programs that we run as an institution? Thank you, DVC. Um, it gives me pleasure uh, to tell you about uh, the School of uh, Natural and Applied Sciences, which is uh, one of the four schools in the university. Uh, the School of Natural and Applied Sciences uh, is uh, the second biggest uh, school uh, in the university as far as the number of students uh, are concerned. But uh, if we uh, look at the academic staff themselves, uh, it is the biggest school in the university. Uh, the school has got uh, four departments. Uh, it's the Department of um, Biological and uh, Agricultural Sciences, uh, where you find the biology and the botany. And then, of course, uh, later on, we are going to introduce the agricultural sciences uh, programs which uh, might start as early as uh, 2022. And then the second department is the uh, mathematical sciences, where you find chem uh, mathematics, applied mathematics, statistics. And then uh, we then have a third department, which is computer science and information technology. And uh, this is where uh, you'll find the computer science in the department there and uh, some of the data science programs and the 
information communication technology programs in that particular department. The last department is the Department of uh, Physical and Earth Sciences. And uh, this one comprises of uh, three disciplines, uh, chemistry, geography, and physics. Now, I've told you about the different departments that we have. And if I may move into the programs that uh, we run in the school, uh, we've got uh, four undergraduate programs, um, which is um, uh, the Bachelor of Science, which uh, uh, comprises of uh, three specializations. Um, the first one is the Physical Sciences, uh, which uh, has got the chemistry, the physics, the geography. And then uh, the second specialization is the biological sciences. I've already indicated that is the botany and the zoology. And uh, the third specialization is uh, the mathematical sciences, where you find the three disciplines of uh, uh, mathematical sciences, as I've indicated uh, uh, earlier there. And then uh, the second program is the Diploma in Information and Communication Technology in Applications Development. And uh, this is the one where we normally take students who didn't qualify with a bachelor admission to go to university. Those students uh, uh, that have got a diploma qualification from their metric results, uh, they then come to this uh, uh, type of uh, uh, a program, which uh, later on, after they complete this program, they then uh, can move into the program which we call Advanced um, Diploma in uh, ICT, in Applications Development, which is a, a step up from uh, the diploma that I've indicated, but it is still an undergraduate uh, qualification because uh, it is at NQF uh, uh, level 7, so it's still an undergraduate uh, qualification. And then uh, the fourth program, which uh, um, is uh, um, the, 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 the one that uh, as a school, of course, we pride ourselves in that program, is the Bachelor of Science in Data Science. I'm going to ask Prof Hubert um, to say something about what is considered the smallest school in the, in, at SPU, but it's by no means small in aspiration. Uh, Prof Hubert. Thank you, Prof Bergson. Uh, you're correct, Prof. Uh, we might be the smallest school, but we have very big plans and we also have a very warm heart. Um, the school currently offers five programs which are retail business management, management, public management, and next year we will introduce programs in economics and accounting. Um, let me start with the last two because we're very excited about these. They are totally new qualifications. And because they are new, it means that they are also aligned with the latest developments in the field. The BCom in economics, for example, has a very strong quantitative aspect and that is to prepare students for the, the exciting world of investment analysis. Um, we will, these people will find employment in banks and financial institutions. Um, the qualification will lead to an honors in econometrics um, and further qualifications in the economic stream. The Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting um, is, is one of the latest accounting qualifications that has been developed in conjunction with professional bodies and students who complete this qualification can pursue the CA stream and become chartered accountants eventually. The BCom in Accounting has modules in digital accounting which aligns the qualification with the fourth industrial revolution and makes sure our graduates are fully prepared for the world of work outside. The other undergraduate qualification is the Diploma in Retail Business Management which prepares students for a world of work in the retail industry um, and what makes this qualification unique is that the students are placed with a major retailer in the final year of study and that is to apply theory to practice and our experience is that the majority of these students actually receive employment offers 
from these retailers after completion of their work integrated learning. This retail, man man retail business management diploma is currently being reviewed and we hope that um, a brand new revised qualification will be offered very soon. The other undergraduate qualification is the advanced diploma in management, which is meant for those applicants who already have some kind of qualification, such as a diploma or a degree, but who want to prepare themselves for the world of, of management and become manage managers. And for them, there is the two year part time advanced diploma in management, which is ideal for those who are currently employed. And that is what the school currently offers, Prof. Exxon. Thank you very much. So we're growing as an institution. We are excited. We call ourselves the quiet revolution in the Northern Cape. So I'm going to ask the, the, the uh, head of school of education, whose school has the largest number or the largest proportion of students at SPU, Prof. Ndofarepi and the School of Education. Thank you very much, Prof. Baxen. Yes, the School of Education is the home of choice for prospective uh, uh, students who want to become teachers. And uh, we consist of uh, three departments, Department of uh, uh, Natural Science Teaching, the Department of Human Sciences Teaching, and the um, Department of Educational Sciences. Uh, we um, consist of um, different programs, programs that are meant to uh, develop in young minds an understanding of how theory and practice of teaching can be, um, can be applied in the schools, um, starting from an early age the programs that we offer include, among others, one, um, uh, the Bachelor of Education degree in um, um, Bachelor of Education degree in Education, um, starting from um, a foundation phase to senior FET. We offer one of the best um, 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 facilities in terms of quality training of teachers for the development not only of the much demanded uh, sciences, mathematics, um, geography and uh, natural sciences but also the uh, short skilled uh, on-demand subjects such as the languages Africans and Setswana that are highly demanded in the Northern Cape so if you want to become one of the uh, pioneers in the development of the uh, formerly dis disadvantaged communities in the Northern Cape and abroad, the School of Education is your home of choice. Thank you. Last but by no means least, the School of uh, Humanities. Uh, Prof. Hare, could you give us some insight into your school? Thank you. Yes. Greetings, everyone. Um, you know, I would just like to say first, um, humanities um, has this lovely word human in it. And, um, you know, our focus in the School of Humanities is at looking at our human experience, whether we are in the discipline of anthropology or sociology or archaeology, whether we're in the uh, discipline of heritage or history, whether we're teaching a language, we teach Setswana, Afrikaans, uh, English, whether we're teaching creative writing. Um, the, the focus in humanities is on understanding and interpreting our human experience. And, um, you know, in this, in this day and age where we are so technologically driven um, and we often are looking looking for technological solutions to what are human problems. The human, the humanities and the human sciences are so important because they, um, they allow us both to think, um, they teach us to think critically and at the same time generatively. 
So we are all about looking for, um, looking at the human experience and uh, finding solutions. And um, so our, our main offering is a BA. Uh, in humanities, I've mentioned all the uh, specializations um, that, that we offer. And um, we, our flagship programs are in heritage studies, which was the inaugural um, department, um, and creative writing, uh, not only in English, but in uh, all the local languages, is another of our flagship programs. Now that you've heard from each of the four schools and the exciting programs that each offers, I'd like you to seriously consider Salt Lake University as your university of choice. We are a small university in the Northern Cape, but not for the Northern Cape only. And so we invite you, prospective students, to consider SPU as your first choice in 2022. We look forward to uh, welcoming you to Salt Lake University, a quiet revolution in the Northern Cape. Welcome to the School of Humanities. Our school offers interdisciplinary programs conscious of the changing global and South African context where university education increasingly serves a social justice function. We draw our inspiration from Saul Plagi, a multidisciplinary thinker, writer, communicator and activist. So, if you are open to different ways of knowing, engaging with diverse knowledge systems and constructive thinking, then this is the school for you. In the constantly changing and globalizing world of the 21st century, our higher certificate courses as well as our BA programs will equip you with the necessary skills to assume society's differing roles. Our school consists of three departments. The Department of Heritage Studies, which offers modules in archaeology and heritage studies. The Department of Social Sciences, which offers courses in anthropology, history, psychology and sociology. And the Department of Languages, which offers courses in Africans, English, Setswana, Isikosa, South African Sign Language and Creative Writing. We also offer a higher certificate in court interpreting as well as heritage studies. Our three-year BA degree program is one of the most unique and culturally rich programs of its kind currently. In the first semester, first year several generic modules establish a strong intellectual base. We are also very proud to have introduced conversational sign language and intend to introduce modules on the Khoikhoi languages and culture in the near future. In your second semester, you will select three subjects of specialization based on your own intellectual interests and career goals. In your final year, you will select two of the three disciplines as your major subjects of specialization. By entrusting us with your education, you will gain a greater understanding of how people in the past and present have tried to make sense of the world. You will be taught empathy, but also how to deal critically and logically with complex information and be able to weigh evidence skeptically and to consider issues from more than one perspective. Our BA programs offers many exciting career choices that can be broadened by a postgraduate certificate in education or a variety of honors programs. Finally, our programs produce 21st century professionals who are culturally aware of the diversity of their African heritage and identity and are able to critically engage with social issues and embrace transformation. We look forward to welcoming you to our school in 2022. The School of Education is the biggest of four schools at Soplaike University in terms of student numbers. We have grown from just over 140 students in 2014 to over 1,200 Bachelor of Education students in 2021. The School of Education is mainly responsible for preparing new teachers for the profession. In preparing first-time teachers, 
we offer two exciting programs. The Beard Intermediate Phase Teaching Degree for those who want to teach grades 4 to 7 and the B.Ed. Senior Phase and F.E.T. Phase Teaching Degree for secondary teaching at grades 8 to 12. The School of Education offers a state-of-the-art teaching practice lab, which allows our education students the opportunity to do their teaching practice with real school learners who are bused to the university. This happens while the rest of the education students in the class observe the lesson from behind the glass windows and are taking notes. Each lesson is recorded so that the student may view and reflect on their teaching skills. By the time our students get to the real classroom, they feel confident to teach a class. Come and enjoy the experience of studying at SPU School of Education, where we prepare you to become the best teachers in the world. The School of Economics and Management Sciences welcomes your participation in our exciting programs and activities. We offer a Diploma in Retail Business Management and an Advanced Diploma in Management. We are also excited to have introduced two accredited programs this year, the BCom in Accounting and the BCom in Economics, that will be offered in 2022. Through our inclusive and interactive blended learning methods, our students are offered the best support in ensuring that they are industry ready as our classes are small and specialized, giving our students leverage to compete with anyone in the labor market. Our school boasts several highly acclaimed academics with a good track record of industry knowledge within the SADC region. They are renowned in their respective fields and make an invaluable contribution to broadening the knowledge base. Our school offers a work integrated learning modules where our retail business management students are placed with employers to gain first hand practical experience which together with their solid theoretical background makes them highly employable. Our BCom in Accounting was developed after benchmarking with national and international universities as well as professional bodies. Students are introduced to areas such as digital accounting to ensure they are workplace ready. Our BCom in Economics has a strong quantitative component and develops learners to become economists, analysts, or investment bankers. If you have a taste for numbers and predictions, this is the course for you. Choose hashtag MySPU, choose the School of Economic and Management Sciences. The School of Natural and Applied Sciences offers an exciting variety of programs for scholars keen in gaining practical problem-solving skills in the field of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and innovation. We are the only university on the African continent to offer a Bachelor of Science degree in Data Science. Data science is a field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insight from structured and unstructured data. Our ICT Diploma in Application Development right through to the Advanced Diploma in ICT and the BSc Computer Science degrees prepare students for career in computer programming, system analysis and design. Using top-of-the-range laboratories furnished with specialized softwares, they learn to create and modify computer application softwares or specialized programs for standalone and distributed environments, including the web environment. Our biological and agricultural sciences department is uniquely placed to equip students with greater appreciation and understanding of biodiversity, ecology and associated challenges in arid environments. This degree offers students hands-on practical experiments and fieldwork, enabling them to develop their own understanding on social, political or ecological issues. The Department of Mathematical Sciences empowers students in problem-solving skills through combining mathematical, statistical and computational aspects. And our Department of Physical and Earth Sciences produces highly instrumental science graduates fit for the global purpose and diverse technological revolutions and demands. 
These graduates possess a systematic and coherent body of knowledge and comprehensive understanding of underlying concepts and principles in chemistry, physics, and geography. With the ability to access, evaluate scientific information, create and share knowledge, our science graduates are exposed to various career opportunities which include academic researchers or professors in chemistry, geography and physics or to become forensic scientists and nanotechnologists and many more. As the School of Natural and Applied Sciences, we pride ourselves in our modern infrastructure, our state-of-the-art technology, and highly qualified staff who provide the highest level of teaching, learning, and research opportunities. Choose hashtag my SPU, choose the School of Natural and Applied Sciences. Greetings to all prospective applicants from the SPU team. I am Ratnam Naidu, the University Registrar, and on behalf of SPU, I want to also welcome you to our online Open Day 2021. I want to thank you for making SPU your University of Choice for 2022. To apply, log on to the website www.spu.ac.za and click on the How to Apply tab. I will now hand you over to Karen to walk you through the process. Hello everyone. We're thrilled that you're applying at Soplike University. Hashtag my SPU. Now, let's start with your application. But wait. You can't start with your application before having the required documents on hand. Before clicking on Start Online Application, make sure that you have scanned the following documents as separate PDF documents. If you are currently in Grade 12, you need to upload two documents to apply. Certified copies of your final grade 11 results and an ID copy. If you have already completed matric, you need to upload three documents. A certified copy of your final grade 12 results, an ID copy and an affidavit declaring whether or not you have previously studied at another higher education institution. If you have completed matric and have already studied at another university or a college, you must submit a certified copy of your final grade 12 results, an ID copy and an official academic transcript as well as a certificate of conduct from the university or college. Now, you're ready. Let's start. Click on Start Online Application. You'll be redirected to an iEnabler site where you will click on the icon under the Prospective Students section. On the first page, you will insert your biographical information. When you are done, you click on Save. In the next section, You'll be given a reference number and be prompted to create a PIN. You will use the PIN in conjunction with your new reference number for future online interactions. Once you've created a PIN, you'll now be directed to the Student Enabler page, where you will click on the Applications icon. Found on the left side of the screen, where you will now see options to view application rules, capture details of the schools you've attended, capture your school subjects and marks, upload supporting documents under certificate scene, capture details of your previous qualification if you have studied at another university or studied at a college before. Capture disability details 
if required, check your biographical details and correct it where possible. Click on Submit Application. Please ensure that all your documents are uploaded before you submit your application. Applications with outstanding documents will not be processed and will delay the application process or your application may be declined. To check your application status, log back onto the online application system using your login credentials. Once logged in, you will click on application information to view your application status. Should you need assistance or guidance with the application process, please email applications at spu.ac.za. Remember applications close on the 30th of November 2021. So ensure that you apply on time. We look forward to seeing you at Solplike University, hashtag MySPU next year. Hi Tabu, how are you? I'm all good Linda, I was just busy with my assignment. And you? I'm so excited. I just applied to study at Solplike University next year. I'm choosing hashtag MySPU. Oh, that's good, eh? Welcome to the SPU family. I'm glad that you chose the best institution in the world. Thanks, Tabu. I just can't wait. I'm a bit worried about funding. Things are difficult at home. I'm not sure if my mom will be able to afford my fees. Relax. There's no need to worry. I got you. You see, Solplaki University has a dedicated financial aid office that supports students by coordinating funding between the students, the university, and the funders. Their role is to encourage as many students as possible, both prospective and current students, to apply for as many opportunities as possible. They also let you know when the funding is available and when to apply and how to apply. Oh, wow. Okay. That puts me at ease. So, what funding opportunities will they share with us, those that have applied? There's a lot, hey. I'm talking NESFAS, Funza Lushaka, various CITES, crowdfunding, and also bursaries from both private and public companies. There's also guidelines on the website where they show you what's needed, what the supporting documents that you're supposed to submit when applying. Thanks, Tabu. I'm definitely seeing you next year. Big ups to you for choosing a learning community in action. You made a right choice by choosing Swap Like University. See you next year in SPU. Y'all need to look out because I'm coming for the hashtag my SPU degree. Oh yeah? Then definitely we'll see you next year here at SPU. Yeah. Invest in your future. Choose my SPU. I welcome you with great pride and admiration to Seoul Plyke University, SPU. It surely has not been easy for you navigating the ever-changing terrain. You have shown resilience, embraced change with courage and humility. I stand before you today to firstly congratulate you for making it thus far and to reassure you that SPU is a university of choice and that the Division of Student Affairs will be here to support you all the way. At SPU, we pride ourselves in being a university for all, where students from different backgrounds are welcome and converge to form a true South African identity. For our strength as a people will always lie in our diversity. As the Division of Student Affairs, we seek to ensure that SBU is a transforming university, one that strives for social justice in everything it does. The foundational values entrenched in the Constitution being equality, dignity and freedom are necessarily of importance to the university. Leading with care is always our fundamental philosophy as we seek to care for fellow humans, all other life forms, the natural environment and self, the very essence of Ubuntu. Student Affairs will take care of you through an array of student support and development programs to help you reach your full potential. Your academic success and well-being are our top priority, more especially in these trying times of hybrid learning that have changed the traditional learning and student life so that you have a sense of belonging and are kept connected to the institution. 
Community is important at SBU and Student Affairs espouses what that is by creating opportunities for engagement with students beyond the classroom. We purposefully foster collaboration with academic units to create a seamless integration between social life and academic performance. A balance between the academic responsibilities and the vibrant student life is achieved through strong student communities, our full sports offering, clubs and societies, and the SRC, which is the highest student governance body in respect of student governance at SPU, and serves the interest of SPU and the student body without partiality, bias, or prejudice. We also have exciting co-curricular programs, such as career services, peer mentoring, and community engagement, to name but a few. Choosing to study at hashtag MySPU is the best choice for a young driven individual and Student Affairs echoes the spirit of Seoul Plyke University and the beautiful city of Kimberley. Here you will find a home away from home and experience the care, protection and support you deserve. The COVID-19 pandemic forced universities to pivot from a traditional on-campus experience to a remote learning modality, and the Student Affairs Department had to reimagine and reconfigure how to continue supporting students in different ways, but that still met their needs. A major innovation that took place at South Black University during the first national lockdown in 2020 was the birth of the Psychosocial Wellness Program. This program was developed to effectively respond to students' psychosocial needs and their experiences through support from trained mentors. The initiative provides structured support that enables students to become resilient, independent, self-directed and interdependent. Most of our students come from small towns and villages in the northwest and northern Cape provinces and have home environments that are not conducive for learning. Environments where substance abuse and gender-based violence are evident. Homes where there is lack of resources such as electricity and connectivity. Such experiences affect a student's mental wellness, causing anxiety, depression, and bereavement, especially when a student is trying to focus on their studies. The Psychosocial Wellness Program ensures that these vulnerable students are identified and when necessary are allowed to return early to campus, are referred to the South African Depression and Anxiety Group for telephonic counseling and I encourage to communicate within different peer groups so that they don't feel alone. The program also ensures that mental health information and resources on physical wellness, spiritual wellness, social wellness and emotional wellness are readily available to students to help them cope with their studies. Today, long after the COVID-19 crisis began, this program, amongst other department initiatives, helps the department to enhance the student's learning experience. So when you enroll at Soplaki University, know that we are a step ahead and that we care. We will always support you through your journey as a hashtag MySPU student. Hi, my name is Melvin Kirsten, and I'm an SP Illuminus. As an ICT graduate, I'd like to share with you why I chose my SPU. Living in Kimberley, it became clear to me that studying at South Pike University would be both convenient and economical. Well, I was pleasantly surprised when I got far more than I'd bargained for. First, the students are provided with a mentor for support and guidance through the labyrinth we called a university. And thanks to small classes, our lectures are more intimate and engaging. What about online learning? I hear you ask. Laptop? Check. Internet connectivity? Check. Studying online was enjoyable for me. Simply put, my SPU was with me every step of the way. From attending classes virtually to submitting assessments online, 
SP support always had my back. I honestly loved the fact that I could revisit class recording and clarify certain things which I'd missed during the live session. For me, having a blended mode of learning, that is, having both virtual and face-to-face -face classes is what you should be looking forward to at Supply University. What I get from studying at SPU, I had a plethora of opportunities to not only feast on theoretical content, but to test and develop my skills practically through code clinics, open campus, hackathons, and much more. These initiatives helped me to constantly better myself and never settle for mediocrity. The course content provided at Soap Like University is current and relevant for the times that we're living in. It's always good to know that the knowledge and skills I harness at this university ensures that I'm a cut above the rest. So Plyke University has given me an edge over my contemporaries studying in the same field elsewhere. It has allowed me to compete in national competitions and given me the confidence to stand tall against a range of contenders. <laughs> I'd be remiss if I failed to mention that it was at So Plyke University where I'd learned the true worth and benefit of teamwork. One person can indeed change the world, but as a team, we can change the world in more than one way. So with this, I say to you, when choosing a university for 2022, choose wisely, choose my SPU. Revolutionary greeting prospective students, I have been given the liberty to share with you the Salt Lake University campus life and the fundamental view of coming to study at Salt Lake University. On residence, it must be made clear that we are creating a space of living and learning in our residences to ensure that no student is left out and that a view of academic excellence as an objective is achieved. Our culture ultimately speaks to academic excellence. We equally ensure that there are programs that will speak to student vibrancy and social cohesion. The SRC has the responsibility to serve the interests of students and we do so by representing students from all walks of life. We work with different stakeholders to ensure that the interests of students are always kept at the core. Choosing to come study at Salt Lake University will make you a respected graduate and you shall be well placed to follow a variety of career paths. You are strongly encouraged to apply to come join a learning community in action and enjoy your student space at Salt Lake University. Those who wish you luck imply that your success is dependent on luck and not hard work even when you work very hard. Therefore, such individuals must never be entertained. We wish you well and all the best on your journey. How do I apply to study at Salt Lake University? All applications are done online at www.spu.ac.za. Apply soon. Applications close on the 30th of November, 2021. Does the university have residences for students who are not from Kimberley? Students from outside of Kimberley may be accommodated in the university residence based on available space. Does SPU offer any part-time courses? All programs at SPU are full-time. However, we are continuously developing programs which will be advertised on our website at www.spu.ac.za. Please keep checking our website for any updates. What sports are offered at SPU? We have aerobics, athletics, basketball, chess, cricket, dancing, hockey, netball, rugby, soccer, table tennis, tennis, and volleyball. Does SPU offer any bridging courses or extended programs? Salt Lake University does not offer any bridging courses or extended programs. Where is Salt Lake University situated? Salt Lake University is located in the Northern Cape Province in the city of Kimberley. How much does it cost to apply to study at SPU? There is no application fee required to apply to study at SPU in 2022. Will I be allowed to start studying in the second semester? All programs at SPU start in February of each year, so there is no second semester intake. Why must I choose to study at hashtag MySPU? My experience with SPU has always been positive, where the community is amazing and positive and the lecturers are easy to approach. Even if the course work may be difficult, you can always find the relevant resources at the university library and even consultation with the lecturers at any time. Thank you for joining the Seoul Plaiki University Virtual Open Day. We wish you all the best for your exams this year and look forward to meeting you in 2022. Remember to visit our website on www.spu.ac.za 
to apply for admission and for more information on our program offerings. Plan ahead for your future and choose to further your studies at an innovative 21st century institution. Choose hashtag MySPU today.